Hello gamers, hello geeks, and of course, hello to the gays. My name is Sturks, welcome back to the Outer Wilds part 19. Is it 19 or are we on 20 yet? I've lost count. I could have checked before I hit record. <laughs> but this is me we're talking about. I'm not professional, I don't know what you're talking about. This community, and by this community I mean the Outer Wilds community, consistently blows me away. And I wanted to just do a little bit of giving back to the community and, and kind of highlighting a few community members that I think are fantastic. Um, in particular, with emphasis on the art side of things. And the person who I'm going to talk about now knows exactly who they are. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description and I would highly recommend all your Outer Wilds fans to go check them out. This is not a paid ads by the way this is just they've done stuff for me um as in like they've converted a bunch of their art into emotes for my discord server free of charge which is fantastic and i've seen their stuff in merch stores before and i absolutely love it um so vamora Knox is the artist and they have done some incredible drawings of all the celestial bodies or most of the celestial bodies from outer wilds and the, the, like there's one thing they've done where they've put it on like a um a space kind of background and it's on like a massive mouse pad you can get different sized mouse pads mugs you name it i put a link to their store in the discord in the uh, in the discord yeah too but in the description for the video if you like Outer Wilds and you need yourself a new fancy anything, just go check it out. Or even just go kind of say, hey, in the comments, say, hey, we love your work. Keep it up. You're doing amazing. I'm going to try to do this a bit more. I'm going to try to give back to the community because there are some community members who are active in my kind of YouTube kind of community. And I want them to get recognition. So for more Ox, today is your day. Enjoy. Um, it's not fantastic advertising, but we'll get there. Today, as far as Outer Wilds goes, I'm at a loss. I don't really know what I want to do. Um, part of me wants to try track down the other Nomai shuttles. Um, and in doing so, that's going to take us back to Brittle Hollow. Um, while we're at Brittle Hollow, I do want to try to talk to Rebek. Because we've spoke to Gabro again since the last time, since the first time we met them, because we found out a bunch of new stuff. So it could maybe be good to go talk to Rebek, because Rebek is the, um, you know, the know my expert, so to speak. So I think, you know, I, I said I don't know what I want to do. It's quite clear that I do know what I want to do, and this is what we're going to do. So we'll go find Rebek, and I believe. The Nomai shuttle, the like the second escape raft, is. Oh good heavens! I'm never using. I say I'm never going to use that again. That was autopilot. Did that? Not me. Oh my good lord! That was a bit stressful. Let's get back to Biddle Hollow. Let's find Reby Baby, and never let me say those words ever again. Oh, there's this. There's a shell. Let's go do the shuttle while we're here, I guess. <laughs> May as well. Alright, let's go. Hmm, now where do I... Where do I want to land? There is a beacon up there. But I feel like it's kind of encouraging me to try climb. And now that we know how to climb, we may as well do... Do that. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm still suffering from hay fever. Which is really frustrating me, because it's raining. It's cold and damp. Which, in my mind, are two things that are not compatible with um, hay fever and with pollen count. But I'm I'm just an idiot. I don't know things. Oh my god! Look at this. This is this is definitely more of a crash site than the other one. I, I think. So we've got escape pod one. Batch. Is everyone unharmed? Plume. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We are incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No. I... 
I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods to stress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We're certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way down. Perhaps we could build platforms. Okay, so it is quite interesting reading about, you know, like the, the Nomai's first interactions with our solar system, because we're used to it by now. I say that and cry inside because I got scared. Um, but it is interesting to see them kind of reacting to things for the first time. Begin flight log. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launch escape pod 3, 2, and 1. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. They forgot to mention the sodding great volcanic moon. Emergency escape hatch. Let's. Oh my god, that's dope! That's less dope. I just broke a thing. Oh my god. Oops. Well, I guess we're going down. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's gonna be some of these apples, huh? Oh my god. This is a no my light cube? That's very bright. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Thanks, Plume. Is this the way... Why does it feel like the way I was kind of expected to come? And I know the game doesn't expect me to go any particular way. I know that. Um, but this feels like this is like the, the proper way in. Oh my god, I don't know if we've seen this bit before. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we have found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. I don't believe we've seen this temporary settlement before. I think we've, we've seen the Hanging City, but that's got to be... That's over there. This is new! Oh my god, we're going to walk on the roof? Given concerns about our settlement's stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is the wise point plume and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will help us keep safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruption. So this is the way. This is the way. Um, this is the way that we need to go. But before I do that, I of course have to have a look around. There's no way in hell I'm letting all these discoveries go undiscovered. That's close, right. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? 
Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. I suppose the signal was looking for something. So I I almost think, reading-wise, I'm trying to figure out the, the correct way to read this. I used to think, oh, my, my leading theory was like the first branch off is like timeline-wise earlier, but then I keep reading off of that. I feel like what I need to do is read this, read that, read that, and then work my way down a spiral, if that makes sense. Well, I don't know. That's that's what I'm going to try that next time we find something. See if it makes more sense. Oh, wow. I mean, this is like... Properly, thoroughly abandoned. Now, now one thing I picked up there... Trees, 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 trees... Trees. I see trees. I see trees of green. I need to breathe. Okay, fantastic. So, the vessel. They picked up the eye on the vessel. I was under the impression the vessel was something they were using to find the eye. We know that's not the case. They were already traveling. You know, I know my like nomadic, nomadic, or were they running from something? Were they migrating? What happened? My brother wasn't in escape pod one with us. Was he in two or three? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot. I will not. Allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Imagine that. Imagine not knowing. Oh, that path's been broken. That path's been broken. This is the vessel. That's got to be right. The vessel and then the bramble. Are you telling me the vessel is the heart of the bramble now? Shut up, I'm figuring things out. Oh my. We need to get moving. We need to get moving. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Was the vessel unwell in some way? I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. And Nona and I checked both before the warp and the warp core and the navigation systems were both well. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. God, right, we, we need to be gone. We need to be out of this place. I have stayed far too long. And now I have lost track of the path that we need to be using. Ooh, 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 ooh. Kosa. I don't believe I've seen that name before. We can hear the other escape pods distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. I feel that. I do. I feel that. For those who don't know, I lost my dad last year. And it was very sudden, very quick. And I had very similar feelings to that when 
when we first lost him. And it's the first time that I properly cried. <laughs> Especially crying to a game. This is the first time, note it down guys, the first time The Outer Wilds has actually made me actually shed a tear. Okay, okay, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Ah, dear. Okay, that's... That's not ideal. We left it too long. Before I got to the path, I need to do the path earlier. I need to do the path earlier. We can see if we can maybe walk back, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. I was too busy crying, game! Have mercy! Oh, damn. I don't know what it was about that. That was just so out of pocket. Like, I... We, we've read things before that are, you know, upsetting. That is... That's the first time... That's really kind of happened. Right, let's get this, let's get this baby rolling. Let's see me rolling. Eh. I'm spinning. I didn't realize how much fun I would enjoy, like, how much fun I would have playing these kind of games before. I like story games. I do. I, I thoroughly enjoy them. Um, I think they're fantastic. I think there's a lot to be gained from playing games like this. But I never gave them the time of day that, that I probably should have done. I don't think there's that many times I've kind of been, like, emotionally impacted by a story of a game before. Not properly. There probably has been the odd one. So anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis could be a shift in the light spectrum? I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow's Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random, it appears to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Shut up, Thatch! Hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. <laughs> I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. And I imagine there'd be none of us left. I suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I like that. I like the kind of very poetic descriptions that the Nomai use sometimes. Now, is there a way down from here? Or am I kind of stuck? I'm, ooh, well, this is the Northern Glacier. I've just realized we are kind of where we need to be. If only there were a way down. Uh, there must be a way down. If they built up here, there's got to be a way up, right? They can't get from below the surface to above the surface. Oh no, because there was a way. I saw the elevator uh, in one of the buildings. There was an elevator, but I don't think I... I don't think I can reverse it. I need to be so careful. I need to be so careful. Thing is, all these rivers are liquid. That's genuinely really cool. I w I thought this was ice. So they actually had water here, like readily available. I mean, I know there's water here. It's in ice. But you know what I mean. Liquid 
water. Oh my good lord. Is that going to impact too? Oh, I need to be careful. Now, oh, come on. Is there a way down? I got the projection zone last time, I think. I got that from the Whitehall station. Yeah, so it looks like this was the way down, but it is since uh, closed up. Definitively. So we can get up. We can't get back down. Yeah, the hanging the hanging city is below us. Okay. But that must be how we get to the black hole station or the black hole forge is by following that path and staying on the inside of it. That's got to be it. Right? We know for next time. Next time I know what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm, I'm go coming here. We're going round. We're going to find the black hole forge. Right? That's, that's the plan. For now, I don't think I can safely get to Rebek. I don't feel like I can get down there without crashing and dying. But if we have time, I presume I presume we can get around the Black Hole Forge in one run through. If not, the more the merrier. You know? I mean, there's where Rebek is, but if I try that, I am gonna crash and burn horribly. And I probably won't have time to have a meaningful conversation. Unless... I can reach that. We're not going to be able to have a meaningful conversation, but at least I can be in good company. Hi, Rebek. Hi, buddy. Well, you guys have seen me cry for once. So good job, guys. We've done it. I have nothing else to say. That's quite unusual for me. It's not that I don't want to talk. It's not like my brain isn't working. I'm just genuinely content, I think, with how this is all gone. I've got a lot of emotions, I've got a lot of feelings, and I'm going to have to work through them, and I'm going to have to figure them out, I think. But all of them are welcome. You know, I, I don't feel like I'm regretting having the feelings. I have just realised that Rebek doesn't have his... Fuel pack, like in his thing. Like, look, that's empty. That's cool. That's a really neat little feature. I didn't even notice that before. <sighs> the more I play this game, the more I love it. The more I love it, the more I don't want it to end. The more I don't want it to end, the more I love it. Well, I'm gonna try and outrun the supernova. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm going this way. 
Out of interest then, I'm guessing I can't go through that. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Mm mm. Not me. Not today, buddy. Oh! Oh! Oh, what a way to go! <laughs> that's actually a really fitting end to that <laughs> oh, let's put a smile back on my face oh my god I don't know what that class is as for Sergei's uh, death counter that they've been doing but I guess we'll find out soon. Oh my god. I'm gonna find somewhere pretty to stand while we watch the sun come up. Well, let's go let's go from this let's go from this angle for once. I feel like that's adequately pretty. We'll sit with nice. Oh, that needs tuning, nice. Look at him! Oh, you're adorable. Someone, I've been asked a bunch of times what instrument should my Harthian instrument be. And I don't know, you guys let me know. What do you guys think should be my Harthian instrument? Um, I would love to do a doodle sometime of my Harthian, or have someone else do the doodle if you're feeling brave. I would love that. Um, I, I think my Harthian instrument would probably have to be the flute. Not a flute. We've already got a flute. I was going to say saxophone. Because I play the saxophone. Or maybe piano. Or maybe I don't have an instrument. Maybe, maybe I'm like Eska. Maybe I don't have an instrument. Maybe I sing. Maybe that's my thing. I don't, I don't whistle. I sing. We'll see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That would be quite an interesting conversation to have. Thank you guys again for the love and the support. I hope you're enjoying living vicariously through me and revisiting this game. It'll be interesting to see what parts of the game make you guys emotional as well. I can't know until we finish the game because there's going to be spoilers in that conversation. And that's what the conversation we'll have at the end. For now, I'm going to go call it a day. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go chill now, I think. Yeah. I love this. I, I love you guys as well. You're all amazing. Um, you've heard me say that a million times by now. And you will hear me say it a million times more. Deal with it. As always, guys, I have been Sturks, albeit emotional. You guys have just been incredible. And I'll see you all later for the next part of our little adventure.